So I have several favourite bi characters. Uh, <laughs> I think it's unfair to ask bi people to choose and I refuse to choose and so I'm going to give a couple of recommendations of my favourite bi books because um, I love bi books. Um, so a fantastic bi book is uh, by Erin Judge and it's called Vow of Celibacy and it's the book that I wish I'd had when I was a teenager. Um, and it's about a plus size bisexual woman who swears off dating for a year, um, she takes a vow of celibacy and as you can imagine of course someone comes into her life just as she takes this vow and it's a fantastic, funny, poignant, uplifting, uh, you know, book. It's romantic, it's dramatic, it's a fantastic book. It's quite a quick read, very straightforward read, really enjoyable, really fun, really bubbly. It portrays biphobia from both uh, straight people and from gay people. Really great, check it out. It won um, a Bi Book Award a couple of years ago. So one of my other favourite bi characters is Jennifer from Jennifer's Body. Um, I really like horror movies and I think that she's a fantastic example of messy bisexual representation. Uh, her character subverts a lot of tropes and yeah, it's just a really fun film. I love the joke of her saying I go both ways when she's about to eat needy. Um, sorry for the spoilers, but I think that's really funny. Um, I just started watching Big Mouth and as problematic as it is, I've been really enjoying Jay's character. I think again, it's an example of messy bisexuality. I wish they hadn't given incorrect definitions of bisexuality in their episode about uh, pansexuality. Um, but I think it's really nice to see a young bi man uh, or young bi character um, come out as bisexual. So I've been enjoying that, that plot line despite its issues. What's my favorite bi plus character? I don't have a single favorite bi plus character. Um, I am very excited right now about the dramatic increase in the number of young adult um, LGBTQIA plus plus literature that have strong uh, bisexual or pansexual identified characters. Um, recently on social media, I saw a post of, I think it was called six um, young adult novels with strong bisexual characters. And of course, I immediately went out and bought all six of them, and I've now read five of them, um, and they're pretty exciting. Um, they deal with a number of different issues besides bisexuality. The characters are um, somewhat complex and intersectional in how they engage with identity. Um, one of the books, which is called Full Disclosure by Cameron Garrett, deals with, um, it's the story of a high school student who is black. She was born with HIV. Um, she's starting at a brand new high school and she's dealing with questions of disclosure, both about her HIV status, but also about her own bisexual identity. Um, and she deals, you know, she's dealing with questions of if she's not currently involved with a woman or a girl in her case, you know, is disclosure just performative? Like she, I think she suffers from what I call bisexual imposter syndrome. You know, is she bisexual enough to claim that identity publicly and proudly? Um, does she have enough experience to claim that identity publicly and proudly? Um, I wish I could jump inside that book and just give her a big hug and say, you know, you don't have to have any experience at all to identify as bisexual because really um, bisexual identity is about your own feelings and how you understand yourself. And there is no certification required. There's no committee that gets to decide if you're bisexual enough. Um, if you feel that you're bisexual, you are bisexual enough. But anyway, there's like her book and then there are several other books that deal with with um, other issues. And it's just very, it's becoming, these, these books are becoming increasingly sophisticated and nuanced and that excites me. That excites me to no end. And I want to see more of these books and I can't wait to read the next ones that come out.